In this video we're looking at a surgical wound on the abdomen here with a long line of sutures you can see uh, running vertically uh, down the centre of the abdomen here. It's about 20-25 centimetres long, uh, sutured into place. A uh, little redness around the sutures, you can probably just see that. A little bit of inflammation post-operatively and then rather tellingly at the base of the sutures here you can see where the wound is actually gaped apart. Sutures there have been removed, got a little gape, uh, and certainly down the base here of the abdomen, um, that will have been um, precipitated to an extent by, by the weight of the abdomen on the, on the lower part of the suture line. Um, sometimes these hold together, the rest of the suture line holds firm, uh, and healing does proceed with that event. When that goes wrong, though, we're left with a very big abdominal wound and that's what you can see here in our model. So this is an open abdomen and what's happened here is the wound has simply fallen apart most likely due to the large uh, pressure on the sutures uh, with that weight because our model I'm afraid is a little bit overweight uh, and also very often due to infection. So one way or another this wound has opened up, uh, the sutures have not held it, they've been removed um, the whole wound's opened uh, and now needs to heal as an open cavity. There's no pulling this back together and popping the sutures back in. So what we see then is a large open wound with very deep edges. Yeah, here with lots of slough in the wound bed. Uh, if we gently just look at the edges, a little bit of undermining around some of the edges there. Um, some necrotic tissue sitting in the wound bed, it started to dry out a bit, it's turned a brownish colour, there are actually some clips sitting in here still in the wound and if I draw back a bit here you can see a couple of sutures holding on desperately down here, lots of pockets of sluffy flesh, um, some little bits of red moist tissue which is what we'd like to see in a healthy wound but overall this is not clearly a healthy wound bed uh, and down here we can see the real pressure here from the abdomen has really pulled this wound you know, far apart. So an awful lot of work to do to close up this kind of uh, um, post-operative dehiscence. Uh, and dehiscence is a problem that we see now with these large open abdomens following complicated surgery, as I say, uh, or often precipitated by weight or infection. Difficult to manage because there's a large area there, there's going to be a lot of exudate coming from it, obviously uncomfortable and also very frightening for the patients uh, and a number of different treatment options available including topical negative pressure. Um, clearly the surgeon, surgical team um, will be very much involved in terms of how the wound will be managed. Uh, important from our point of view, from the nursing point of view, uh, is to not let wound beds like this dry out. Um, but the sheer quantity and size of dressings needed make it difficult um, for everyone involved to manage. And of course, additional considerations, again, nutrition, hydration, pain relief is important and psychological reassurance because pretty scary to look down and see your stomach opened up like this. So, you know, a lot of consideration there in terms of supporting our patients, but not an easy wound at all to manage. And this representation on the model is very much uh, what you might see uh, on a real patient.